Oh my gosh. We have a P-51 on the runway. It looks... Oh, look at it. Look at it, guys. Look at that big... Look at that five... That's a 5,000 kilogram bomb. Please hurry up and repair P-51. Oh my... <laughs> oh Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more War Thunder today. We are checking out the P-47 in 15. So I've been getting tons of requests ever since this plane was added, you know, to check out this plane in Air RB, see how it, you know, is, is it worth it? All the questions galore. So I took it out for my first game. I wish I was rec recording it. Got three kills just in the first game. This is a pure, amazing energy fighter. It's really amusing. I don't know if I'll do it today, but you take people up to 10,000 meters and they can't really mess with you. However, the Key 43 can, which is really scary. Uh, there was one game where I was versing an LA-9 and uh, I took him up to about 9K and he started losing a lot of performance. I took a Key 43 up to about 10.5K he was like, what up, dude? <laughs> you know, he was still, he was he was losing power, but there was really no uh, position for me to pull any maneuvers on him because he was still able to maintain with me, even though I was pulling away a little bit by a little bit. But the amazing thing about this is it's high altitude performance, it's boom and zoom capabilities, it's 850 cals APIT, and especially when you verse the Japanese, eh, you don't have to have much time on target to set them on fire. So let's look at the BR. We're at a 4.7 battle rating. Compared to other planes, this is just stat card, 750 kilometers an hour top speed, 4.7. 760 kilometers an hour, 5.3. I would I I would take the P47 N15 any day for being 10 kilometers an hour slower compared to the uh, RE that has a higher BR. This should literally be a higher BR. It's very clubbish, very clubbish, especially if you're able to get a nice boom and zoom from 7K to around 3K. It does phenomenal at that um, uh, starter altitude and the finish altitude. Guys, in the comments below, we're going to get started here, but let me know uh, something you want to see next in ARB. All right, guys, let's get started. Shiny. If you guys like this skin, this skin is in the description below for you guys to download and put on your P-47 N-15 if you like. And there's some more historical information on that War Thunder live page. So I said before, reversing the Russians. What I've noticed from the Russian planes in this game, players, as you know, they use the Russian planes, is that they climb up to about 5.5, 5K, 6K around that area, and uh, then they dive down to about 3,000 meters for the majority of the engagement period. So hopefully what we're going to do now, or do right here, is we're going to climb to about maybe 7,000 meters just to make sure that we have absolute dominance of the higher altitude of this game. And then um, pull back into the battle. Ooh, yeah, do not go after the PEA. No, 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 no. Uh, and then come back into the battle and hopefully clean up and also support the enemy players that aren't as high. But our team looks like they are climbing well. There's, they're all climbing on the uh, other side of the map. We're on the east and they're climbing west. So at about 6,000 meters, we're going to turn back into the AO and hopefully by the time we're ready to engage, we'll be at 7,000 meters. PE-8, guys, don't track him. He'll do nothing. He'll, he'll maybe bomb. A, I don't know why people go after him. He's not. It's not like easy food anymore. Bombers aren't easy food. I mean, sure, sure you might get the kill, but your engine will be damaged, your wing will be damaged, and the, by the time you need to engage an enemy fighter, you won't be ready for it at all. Okay, 6,000 meters turning in. Keeping that engine nice and hot. Guys, if you don't full wep on your climb, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice. Ooh, what the? Okay, it's a P-47 Russian. I think it's the D-28. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, we're going to, um... God dang it. Not the right setup I want yet. we got to get in there, though. God dang it. Why do they just yellow in there? They just go, ah, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> they go into a swarm of them. There you go. Go ahead, on with the P-47. Well done. 
Oh my goodness gracious. LA7, you gotta be careful of that guy. Who's this over here? Below us? Yep. Yak 9T, okay. He wants to dance, we'll dance. Full whip. Flaps out. Come on, turn, you big girl. Where is he? He's in the clouds by camera. Okay. Okay, nice engagement right there. One down. Ooh, a Yak-9 actually took the time to climb. And so, like, right now, sure, I want to climb above this guy, but I would, I'll would i only be engaging one guy the whole time. So I'm going to lower my altitude, and hopefully by doing this, we can kill more enemies and bring that guy down to our altitude. Okay, LA-7 right here. We are closing in on him quickly. Let's see what he's going to do. It looks like he's diving to the left. Idle flaps. Oh, that was a fucking lucky shot. Got him on fire. And so now we got a P-47. I don't know if he, oh. No, he already put out his fire. Looks, no, he's still on fire. Okay. Okay, so another one down. Let's keep this altitude up. We got to, you know, be aware of that Yak-3 still up. Or Yak-9, excuse me. So we're going to build up some airspeed and get the fuck out of Dodge. So we have a P-51. Looks like he might be chasing this Yak-9. The Yak-9 is now engaging. Let's go ahead and dive. Because the Yak-9 does not like to go over 700 kilometers an hour. I'll tell you that right now. Or maybe he does. Holy fuck my asshole. What is this? Oh, I thought I was about to get sniped right there. Okay, Yak-9 likes to go 800 kilometers an hour. Let's see if we can surprise him here. Got him. Now we got one enemy behind us. Good. We have the advantage. We'll install her out here. And now for the P-47, they're... Okay, he's not... Oh, shit. Friendly. Let's back him up here. Oh, my God. There's still so many enemies left. I'm going to... Oh, fuck it. We'll, we'll go after this guy. Never mind. Pulling off. PPD-1 seems to uh, have the uh, shot on him. All right, so we got three kills. Good job, P51. We're gonna pull off above the clouds, reclimb to about 5,000 meters, and hopefully re-engage here. Tango spotted. We got a Yak-3 by this P51, and the other player is a PE8 who just killed a fuck ton of armored cars, and then the other guy, the third player, I don't know who he is, but we're diving down. We're gonna cool off this engine again. Breathe, baby, breathe. Now, this this PP one. Okay, there he is. We see him. This this is kind of hawk above, hawk above. Because that Yak does not see me yet, and maybe the enemy, the other enemy fighter, might try to pounce on that P fifty one behind the Yak three. Okay, we're, we're gonna go in and try to help. Oh, fucking rudder gave out at uh, 700 kilometers an hour. Pulling to engage. Going up, though. Going up, though. Back down we go. Come on, we got this. Go, people. Go, go. Get him, get him, get him. Let's not be so fast so we can be more controllable here.
Good. I don't really care too much. We got three kills. I think that was his first kill today. No, a second. Okay, good. Let's not dread on that too long. We have an enemy contact way out here. It looks like a big old girl, slow moving. And that's kind of near their bombing point right now. Oh, never mind. That's not the PE-8. What is this guy doing? Holy... I think they they both just ripped. Does that guy just try to land, it looked like? Did they do that together at the same time? That was... Hey, man, if you're gonna if you're gonna rip your wings like that, you know synchronization is beautiful. Good game. Yak nine down. You better burn, burn, baby. Oh, hey, we got some team killing going on. Yo, today it seems like we're only versing the Russians. Okay, so this game's been going on for quite a bit of time. Um, as you can see, me and the Spitfire are the only players left, so we're gonna have to play perfectly to to win this. We got an LE nine below us. I actually might want to go for that guy. Let's go ahead and look at him. We got to tag team these guys. So let's, I'm going to call out, tell the Spitfire that I'm going for this guy. Okay, he's with me. Now this LA-9 should dive here, but he might not. We're going at 500 kilometers an hour. We should catch him very quickly. Oh, my Lanta. Okay, another one down. Good, 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 good. Okay, cool the engine off real quick. Now, okay, we got a we got a lot of work to do. We got six more guys to kill. It'd be nice if we had one more player. Now, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do a we're gonna call out an order. We're gonna put in the Avenger on, just so we can get a view of where the where one enemy is. Okay, nice and low. Now we gotta be careful because you know, sure we see a guy right down here. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna go for him. I'm gonna see if I can spook him here, because I don't think he can see me yet. And we're gonna build up all the speed we can here. Oh, another one right there. Got him on fire, pulling off. Now, I th where's that? Where, where's our friendly Spitfire at? Okay, he's he's still in the AO. That guy should burn out here. Come on, put it out or don't put it out. Just there we go. Okay, he crashed. Now we have a Yak Nine over here that we're going to pursue now. Come on, baby. The only the only thing I can tips with this plane. I think I said this before, but just you know. Patience. Patience, patience, patience. Okay, let's check the scoreboard now. We got three kills. We got four more to deal with. Now, the, the other nice thing about the P-47 is that its time in the air is beautiful. 31 minutes of fuel left. 1,800 rounds left. Spitfire's going in. We'll be number two.
Oh shit, I just fucking locked up right there. I don't know what that was. I wasn't going too fast to lock up like that, but I just did. Okay, let's let's disengage and reclimb. What the fuck just happened there? Okay, looks like he's going over to his air base. Oh shit, be careful, Spitfire. Don't go heads up. Come on, 47, let's get there. Look at that. It has that really, really weird lockup right there. I've never experienced that before. Okay, now we're going up this Yak 9P. This is us. Okay, he's dead. Flaps. Uh, I think we might, bleh, might have to go heads up here. There goes my tail. I believe we got him critical too. I saw a critical pop up. Okay, there we go. Now let's check the score. We've got two more players. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, we both died. Oh, we had that game in the bag. But the Russians were able to hold out on the attrition alone. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Five kills. I'll take it. We should have listened to our own advice, though. Don't go heads on.